Hi, this is Donnie Vaughn. I'm going to do this tutorial uh, on how to add a new page to your site. This is probably going to take two videos, so make sure you pay attention to both of them. All right, let's say we want to add a new page on this uh, website that talks specifically about missions. Now, I, I don't know if we already have that on here, but I'm going to pretend that we're going to uh, we're going to call this the foreign missions page. Okay, so how do we go about doing that? So, a um, couple things to think about. Number one, we want to have, do we have content on the page? Uh, do we have content for the page? And when you're looking at content, you're looking primarily in three different areas. You're looking first and foremost, the text. So you want to have text. And then secondly, you want to look at photos. What kind of photo do you have for the page? Do you have existing photos of students going on foreign missions? Or do you have to look at using stock images? You can. You want to be careful about just grabbing Google images uh, because sometimes those belong to other people. Uh, but you can certainly go to certain sites. Uh, iStock Photo is one that we use quite heavily for stock photos if you needed to use that. But uh, photos, are the, and then the other is video. If you're in, in video, uh, we always recommend using YouTube or. Uh, Vimeo one of the two to put your vi videos on those sites and then simply embed those into the website it makes your website run a lot faster because you're using the server space on YouTube and video Vimeo as opposed to using the server space for the website and it's just uh, it's our recommendation so you're looking at content photos video and text so you, do you have that content to get started and then you have to think about okay what do we want them to do is there a form to fill out okay on this on this website there's a place to fill out a form and we'll show you in another uh, tutorial on how to do how to add a form to the site so you got to think how is this, what's this page going to look like how's it going to be laid out what is the action step we want them to do and go from there okay so then we have to determine also if you'll notice up here in our uh, menu uh, there's only so much room you have I mean you can't put much more to the right or else it's going to uh, start to wrap around and you don't want that it, these are some of your he major headings but let's look at uh, putting the um, foreign missions maybe under oh for, for the sake of this we'll put it under fine arts notice that there is the main menu and then you have the sub menus or some people refer to them as the secondary menus those are listed down below there we're gonna put one down below here called foreign missions so there's ways that we go about doing that. So first and foremost, we go back to our dashboard. We go back to the pages over here on the left. If you hover over this, you can go to all pages or you can hit add new. You can hit add new and take it to it. Uh, I'll show you what happens if you hit all page, all pages. Then that will take you to a listing of all the current pages that are on the site. And uh, it's taken a little longer than I wanted to. Uh, here we go. But then up at the top, you have the ability to add a new page. So uh, let's look at adding a new page. Now, uh, recommendation is when, when you when you create a, a page, you want the URL to be somewhat uh, easy to understand. So it's ovillachristianschoolorg slash missions, uh, foreign missions, whatever. But let's just keep it simple for missions. Now, we want to make the URL short, so we're going to type the page title uh, a little shorter, and then we can start typing down here you notice as soon as we start typing the permalink or the URL has been created what I like to do at that point is go ahead and publish the page now there's nowhere for, nobody can see this because we haven't put it up on the menu bar but it locks in this permalink you can always come back and edit it but I always like the fact that it's locked in like that now we can start putting our content on the page and we can put all the content we want and we can add a photo uh, the way you do do that, and uh, I believe we'll talk about this in another tutorial, is you go to Add Media. Over here is a little box that add the gravity form. And then you can put whatever kind of formatting you want, bold, italicized, etc. Again, you don't want to get crazy with the formatting because your website has a look. You don't want to start throwing crazy you know, colors in here, pinks and stuff like that that don't match the theme. One thing I will caution you about is let's say that uh, you have some information in a Word document that has been presented to you by somebody and they says, here's everything I want on the foreign missions page, so you put that on there. You don't want to just paste this directly into this. You want to use one of these two. I recommend just this one right here, paste this plain text. You open it up, you paste your information in there, and you're good to go. We're going to stop here. Click up uh, the next one for the second tutorial.